and this part is drawing the birds. You can see that I am using different shapes and forms of birds and birds is a very interesting um, animal. It's, it takes all shapes and forms so um, you have to paint it loosely and you know bird, birds can take any shape and uh, th that would look okay. So in this video I'll share with you one of my watercolor painting sessions that I did couple of weekends ago and you can see the final painting uh, the paper is a bit curled up and um, you know there are some imperfections um, so yeah so I started by uh, putting my watercolor paper on a board um, and pasted it with a the masking tape then I divided the paper into threes uh, across the vertical axis uh, you know the lower third I reserved for for the ground for the grass and then in the middle third uh, I plan to draw the trees um, and then you know, uh, the sky is a little more than the top third. So you can say if sky is taking almost half of the, the, the top of the paper. And I, I did not use uh, very expensive materials. The paper is the cheapest. Like this paper would cost you around one dollar um, which is very cheap and it's not the best paper um, and you can see on the final result uh, picture in the corner it has some of those uh, cauliflower effects in the sky but that's okay you know I was able to make it work to some extent you can also look at the paints these are not uh, you know famous brand uh, these are some cheap watercolor paints and um, you know brown is just brown you can't you can't call it burnt sienna uh, you know and you have to use your imagination to come up with the color so what I'm trying to do here is to add that gray that we see in the clouds and you can see I am adding some brown to the gray to get that warmth and then I made a gray paint but that was very thick so I added more water in another section of the palette and all of a sudden my painting um, you know progressed into another stage because my camera died uh, in between so yeah that, that's fine that's all right uh, now you can see I'm adding some more brown and green into the gray because I have already uh, drawn the grass and the ground uh, with the first light value. I also have drawn clouds and the first light value of the sky. And now what I'm doing is I'm drawing a hay bale. Um, you can see the first light coat of a hay bale and then there is another hay bale towards the right side you can see it's in the it's at a distance that's why it is small and the left hay bale is it, it, I can see it's round side um, you know the, the circular side is visible while the smaller hay bale it's just looking like a rectangle because of its orientation now I'm drawing the basic vegetation uh, at a distance below the trees that I'm gonna draw and now I'm drawing the contour of the trees now of course at a distance trees 
do have a pseudo contour, but they also have some branching sticking out that are visible from, from, from the distance. So now I'll, I'll draw those branches that stick out of the boundary of a you know cluster of trees. Um, you know, the trees are using a darker value. That's why I painted around the hay bale and painted around uh, the other uh, hay bale. So, so you can put darker value on top of the lighter values, but you can't do it other way around. And you can see that I'm putting the light value of a tree first and that tree is closer to to the weaver still you can see the, the trees in, at the distance you know behind it so in a moment I'll, I'll try to hide those trees that are visible from the light colored tree on the left and I'm also adding some structure to the ground you know ground is not always a plane so I'm adding some some ridges you, you can see there are ridges and now I'm drawing the trunks of the trees on the right side and you know um, there are like four trees and one small tree trunk um, now I'm adding some more greener grass that is near the viewer and I, I just added another small tree that is on the left side that is merging into another big tree on the leftmost side. Yeah, and to make this smaller tree make more look more realistic, I'll add some foliage to the bottom of it uh, in a bit, in a second. And now what I'm doing is I'm adding some texture to the hay bale to make it look more lifelike. So you can see there are multiple rolling of, of hay, layers of hay. So I'm, I'm trying, trying to draw that. And then I just took a knife and tried to make you know the branches that are visible in the trees you know when you scratch the paper it it makes that shiny layer on top of the green color in a tree so i used a knife and now i'm thinking that my sky doesn't have a lot of pigment a lot of color to it so i've made a good bright sky blue color and I repainted over it. This is not recommended to repaint a lot but I, I did see good life in the sky. The color was not very bright so that's, that's why I wanted to do it and I added some shade to the hay bale, the darker value and now is what I was talking about. I add some foliage below the tree on the left side. So the tree looks more realistic. You know, trees make a lot of, uh, a lot of small grass and leaves be below them. And it's good to have something below the trees. The shade of the bigger hay bale needed some perfection. So I added some more contouring to it and this part is drawing the birds you can see that I am using different shapes and forms of birds and birds is a very interesting um, animal it's it takes all shapes and forms so um, you have to paint it loosely and you know bird, birds can take any shape and uh, that would look okay so 
if you scroll back to the final 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 result of the painting you would see that almost all the birds are looking uh, realistic and i think uh, this painting is ready i just removed the tapes and now you can have a look for yourself